all-out ketchup, only eating meat, obsessing over Skittles. What is this? Yeah, NFL players are weird sometimes. From the weird and disgusting to the healthy and extreme, we'll dive into the diets that fuel the top athletes in football. Get ready. Today, we're going to talk about what NFL players actually eat. We can't ignore the reigning king of the gridiron, Patrick Mahomes. But we're not talking about his astounding passes or his incredible touchdowns. We're talking about his legendary ketchup obsession. Did you know that Mahomes has a ketchup obsession? That's right, he puts ketchup on everything. It all started when he was just a kid and he used to whip up ketchup sandwiches, just bread and ketchup. Mahomes' love for the tomato-based condiment transcends mere fandom. It's a way of life. He eats ketchup every day and it doesn't stop at sandwiches. He slathers it on burgers, drizzles it on fries, and even douses his steak in it. But the story doesn't end there. Mahomes, ever the trailblazer, took his ketchup passion to a whole new level. He opened up his own Whataburger restaurant that serves his favorite ketchup. Yes, you heard that right. Patrick Mahomes has his own ketchup-branded eatery. And here's where it gets even more interesting. Mahomes' obsession with ketchup isn't just confined to his own culinary choices, he's become something of a ketchup ambassador. One player stood out not just for his extraordinary talent, but for a rather peculiar sideline companion. Meet Marshawn Lynch, the running back who danced through defenses with the grace of a gazelle and the ferocity of a lion. But it wasn't just his athleticism that had fans and foes alike scratching their heads. It was his unbridled affection for a tiny, sugary confection, Skittles. Marshawn Lynch had a secret weapon in his arsenal, a Skittles vending machine. While most players relied on water or energy drinks to keep them fueled during games, Lynch turned to this peculiar contraption for his sugary sustenance. When the going got tough, Lynch turned to his beloved Skittles. It was as if the vibrant candies held the power to unlock his beastly potential. And so, the legend of the Skittles King was born. Some called it superstition, others a quirky habit. But to Marshawn Lynch, it was pure magic. The candy that fueled his touchdowns, the sweetness that powered his ferocity. Skittles were his game day confidants. In the locker room, while his teammates were busy with pregame rituals and motivational speeches, Lynch could be found with a giant bag of Skittles, sorting them by color as if deciphering a code only he understood. And as long as there's football, there will be Skittles, the candy that added a dash of magic to the gridiron. Marshawn Lynch's secret, tasting the rainbow, one touchdown at a time, and proving that sometimes it's the sweetest moments that define a career. In the world of NFL running backs, one name has stood out not just for his incredible speed and agility, but also for his unorthodox approach to nutrition. Meet Adrian Peterson, the running back whose dietary preferences have turned heads and sparked intrigue both on and off the field. Adrian Peterson is known for his preference for an all-meat diet. But it's not just a preference. It's a way of life for the man they call all day. He claimed that his diet primarily consists of meat, such as steak and fish, with minimal carbohydrates. Peterson's carnivorous lifestyle wasn't just about choosing a particular diet. It was about maximizing his performance on the football field. He believed that a diet rich in meat provided the essential proteins and nutrients his body needed to recover and perform at its peak. His meals were a carnivore's dream featuring succulent steaks cooked to perfection and grilled fish that would make any seafood lover envious. And it wasn't just about eating any meat. Peterson was meticulous about sourcing the finest cuts, ensuring that each bite was not only delicious but also optimized his athletic prowess. His dedication to this all-meat diet became a testament to his commitment to being the best on the field. But what about carbohydrates, you might ask? For Peterson, they were a rare indulgence reserved for special occasions or as a treat after a particularly grueling game. While other players carbo-loaded before matches, he was fueling up on prime cuts and savoring the flavors of a steakhouse in his pre-game rituals. His all-meat regimen was a talking point in the NFL, with fellow athletes and nutritionists alike debating its efficacy. In the annals of NFL history, there are tales of incredible athleticism, records shattered, and improbable feats on the football field, but there's one story that stands out as an anomaly, a gridiron enigma that left fans and the media in sheer disbelief. Enter Chris Johnson, the former running back who, during the 2009 NFL season, embarked on a dietary journey that defied convention. 
He reportedly ate only McDonald's for the entire season and still managed to achieve one of the most remarkable rushing yards milestones in NFL history, over 2,000 rushing yards. This unusual diet became the stuff of legend, drawing the attention of fans and the media alike. His menu consisted primarily of items from the fast food giant's menu. Picture this, Johnson, an athlete known for his speed and agility, standing in line at the drive-thru, ordering Big Macs, fries, and milkshakes. While his peers might have been dining on lean proteins, vegetables, and complex carbohydrates, Johnson's go-to fuel came in the form of fast food. Yet his performance on the field was anything but compromised. Week after week, he dazzled fans and confounded defenses, racking up rushing yards and touchdowns as if he held the secret to gridiron success hidden in a McDonald's bag. As the season progressed, Johnson's unconventional diet became a talking point. Was it a nutritional experiment, an act of rebellion, or simply a unique ritual that brought him luck? Fans and pundits debated, but the results spoke for themselves. Johnson's remarkable year left an indelible mark on NFL history, proving that greatness on the football field could come from unexpected places.